Hello and welcome to my video lesson here on integration estimates. So this first one I have on here, I gave a table, right? And I want to estimate the integral from zero to 40 of f of x dx, so that definite integral using left endpoints and right endpoints, and then we are going to average those results together. And from this table up here, we can see that these values of x, as we keep going from left to right, they keep going up by a value of 10. So for this particular one, since we want to use those left endpoints and the right, and the right endpoints, the width that we're going to have here is 10. And since we want to start with left, and I also do right endpoints, we're going to have a total of four rectangles. Four rectangles in order to achieve that. So let's start with the left endpoints. So this integral from zero to 40 of f of x dx can be approximated by taking our width here of 10 times, starting with the left, we would start here at the zero value. So f of zero plus the next one would be f of 10 plus the next one is the value of 20. So f of 20 plus the last one would be this f of 30 for that 30 um, value for the function. So since we have it in the table, uh, we are gonna have 10 times the value of the function at zero is 350. The value of the function at 10 is 410. The value of the function at 20 is 435. And the function value at 30 is 450. Add all those up, multiply by 10, we should get an answer of $17,550. Oh, sorry, $16,450. For the left endpoints. Um, the right endpoints, again, we have that same estimation, 0 to 40. So calculating that integral from 0 to 40 of f of x dx. And now this one, and let me erase my arrows just so we can point to the correct ones this time. We still have that same width of 10, but since we're talking about the right ones now, we're going to start at the value of the function at 10 plus the value of the function at 20 plus the value of the function at 30 plus the last one, the value of the function at 40. So we're gonna have 10 times. Um, at 10, the function takes on 410. At 20, it takes on 435. At 30, it takes 450. And then at 40, it takes 460. So if we add up this sum, multiply by 10, we should get that number I said before by accident, uh, 17,550. And to get the average of these, to get the best guesstimate, this will be 16,450 plus 17,550. Divide that by two, and that should give us as an estimate of 17,000. Now, this was using a table, right? Not all the time would you be necessarily given a table. Here's another one. Um, f of x is equal to 1 divided by x. We want to estimate the integral from 1 to 7 of f of x dx, so that definite integral again. Again, left endpoints, right endpoints, and this time I said to use a total of three rectangles. 
So to find that width, since this time we do not have a table to tell us what that is, this takes B minus A divided by N. So B in this case is the top value and the integration, this would be seven minus the bottom value of one divided by N, which is that number of rectangles that I gave here to be three. So, so, so seven minus one divided by three, so six divided by three gives us a value of two. So with that being said, to find those intervals, since we want, we need to use those for this, and it's helpful to know what they are. Um, the first one starts at the first value, that lower value of this integration of one. And since we have a width here of two, we will add two to the one to get the first interval to be one to three. The next one starts at three. Again, we add two to that three to get five. And the last one starts at five. Add two again to give us that last one of seven. So these are three um, intervals for this. And to start with that left endpoints, and since the way I wrote it, it's kind of helpful to see, we will be taking the left side of each of these numbers. So the one, three, and five. So this integral from one to seven of f of x dx, this is going to be our width of two times the value of the function at one plus the value of the function at three plus the value of the function at five. Again, those values from the left of each of these intervals. Popping that into the function that I gave. So this would be two times, you put one into f of x here, that's one divided by one, plus putting three into the function, this is one divided by three, plus putting five into this function, you get one divided by five. Unfortunately, this is a decimal, but still useful to calculate. Um, this would give us as a, a fractional value of 46 over 15. And as a, a decimal answer, this is about 3.067. For the left endpoints, the right endpoints again, same width. Right endpoints uses that same width. So interval, uh, integral from one to seven of f of x dx. This best estimate will be two times. And now we would use the right hand side of each of these intervals. So the value of the function at three this time, plus the value of the function at five, plus the value of the function at seven. So two times you put three into a function, you get one third. You put five into the function, you get one fifth. And you put seven into the function, you get one seventh. As a fractional amount, this is 142 over 105. As a decimal, that is about 1.3524. And to get that best estimate with that average of these two, this is going to be, I'm going to use the fractional ones for this. Um, 46 over 15. plus 142 over 105. This sum divided by two. As a fraction, that is 232 divided by 105. And as a decimal, that is about 2.20 
Thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.